Mm. All right, everybody, how's it going? How y'all doing? All right, so this video right here, um, it was sent to me by Linda. Linda, she the peace player right there. And uh, well, actually, she right here, but you know her character, character up there. But you get the idea, man. But anyway, so yeah, we're about to look at her tournament match here. See what went down. And, you know, give us some advice, man. Help out the kid, you know what I'm saying? All right, then. Um, before we do that, I do want to mention that in the other video, I said that I was a fox. But, apparently, I'm not a fox. I am a red panda. I know, right? Like, this is some real shit. But, um, yeah, I just found out about this. So, um, oops. Anyway. Let's get to the point of the video right here. We're not going to worry about no technicalities about animals and stuff, right? Because that's not what y'all here for. Definitely not what Linda here for. But anyway, so yeah. So, Pete versus Inkling. All right, let's see what went down up in here. I mean, let's hit that play button. Splatoon, Splatoon, euh, essayez-le. Hein. Splatoon okay. 2, le meilleur jeu de la Terre. Hein. <laughs> Évidemment, en équipe, il so, uh... n'y a pas mieux. Oh, try to go for the turn to down tilt. Respectable, y'all traded. Well, they clash. Oh, nice. Get, got out of there. Mm, couldn't talk to turn up fast enough. Okay, good. Use the turn to get some breathing room. Okay, good there. Mm. Didn't quite get the battle shield correctly. Uh, okay, yeah, you're, you're approaching a lot right now with um, theirs. And you're kind of getting snuffed out the air with um, the inkling spheres. Or you're a bit too stationary at times, which you leave yourself open, and he just approaches you with a fair and get hit, or you get hit with the roller. See, so you're, yeah, see, like that. You gotta, you gotta be a bit more careful. You leave yourself open with these attacks you're tossing out. I feel like uh, you, you should be a bit more grounded. And this particular inkling, like, already from the start of the match, like, if this was me, I would be looking out for uh, for the rolls because this guy has seemed to be throwing it out a lot, especially when he's landing. So you got to be careful. See, right now, you see, this is what you should be doing. See, you're being a bit more grounded. You were getting punished a lot for your approaches, but you decided to calm that down a little bit, and um, you're doing a, a bit more grounded area, so that's pretty good. And you're slowly starting to bring this back. Uh, I think you should be a bit more careful when you're landing. Don't land with attacks. Kind of leave you open. Okay, you had the right idea here, but you were just a bit too close. It's all right, though. It's all good. Okay, nice. Good. That that was really good. I like that. Okay, I see you. I see you. I see you out here. All right, all right. Definitely like that. I like your, your, the good uses of the, the Z drop there. You don't see a lot of Peach players doing that these days. Ooh, okay. Definitely could have got a bit more of that, but... Either way, we still got, we got the all smash, we got the damage. Okay, good. Uses are fair. See? Like, you, you gotta start looking out for them rollers, man. Like, where you're at, where you're around this percent. Ooh, after well, you did look out for it there. Since you're a bit more aware. Now, your, your punishing landing is pretty well. But as I was saying before, when you're around this percent against Inkling, most likely these guys, they're gonna be throwing out the rollers. See, right now, he just ran up and did a forward smash. So, he's gonna be dishing out kill options. Right? He's dishing out them kill options here. So, around these numbers, just play around, like, keep moving, in and out, act like you're going to do something, and then pull away, and then just bait these kill options, and then punish. See, look, there you go right there. See, now you're a bit aware. Um, you're a bit more aware, so you're not getting hit as much as before. And, oh, man, I don't know what happened there. He actually could have killed you. I don't know what he was doing. He, he gave you a second chance at life. Don't waste it. Ooh, okay, got the bear to cover yourself quick enough. No, oh, you messed up the uh, the Z drop punish. Uh, oh, misplacement of the Z drop. You had the right idea. You you had the right idea. You get a you you, you get an A for effort. Well, I think I said that wrong. But anyway, um, you, you definitely had the right idea. Just um, the placement was off. Okay, good, fair. Get him out of here. Okay, so. Mm, Z, I, I'm definitely liking the Z drops. You 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 thinking out here? You setting traps. You thinking? Uh, I'm liking the use of the term the Z drop. I'm liking. Okay, see with the fairs, I feel like you should be a bit more careful here, cause um you're throwing out the fairs. Like the fair, it had range, 
It has range, it's a good kill option and whatnot, but it kind of leaves you open as you saw when I brought it up not too long ago. Leaving yourself open a bit, so you gotta be careful with those fairs. Like, you gotta pick your spot to toss out the fairs. You can't just go on in there, be tossing out fairs like a thousand frames per second, something like that. It kind of leaves you open. But you haven't been doing it too much, so. It's alright. I ain't gonna give you too much. Too much bashing over it. Okay. Ooh! Okay, I, I think you had a float, right? I think you had a float right there. So you you could have you could have fared the the inkling. It would have been the game. Okay, it looked like you burned your float and then just let go and then up B. So this, this game you definitely could have ended it. It, it should it should should have been yours. It should have been over. So uh, yeah, you you gotta be really careful. Cause remember at these percents. Well, I can't say remember because you know this is in the past, but just keep in mind that these percent players like this, person inkling, they're gonna be tossing all their kill off. They're gonna be coming down with rolls, and see, they go right there. Told you, told you, right there. So like, I, I feel like you played this match pretty well. You're doing pretty good. After you lost the first stock, you stopped beating the air a lot, and you were using grounded fares and bears and punchy landings. So you were definitely adapting. So I give you that. Your adaptation and it is up there, man. Ain't, you're, you're, not, you're not a person to be slept on. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, that was definitely good. I like the adaptation. I like the, um, the use of the Z-Drop turnips. Had some good traps. You got a nice kill right there. And, um, you're doing all right, kid. I feel like the only thing that was getting you was, um, you know, the just uh, the random rolls. You know, he dude just comes through at times, either when landing or in neutral position, just throws out the rolls. So, you got to remember, when you're at, like, the, the kill percent where the roll could kill you, just look out for it, because they coming. They, they they literally coming. You saw it in this match. Like, they coming, right? So, just, just remember to look out for that. I feel like that's the only reason that, that, that you lost. Because, you know, you just got hit with random rollers. And also, it, that, that edge guard, if you would have got it earlier, because I'm pretty sure you had a flow and I saw you, like, burn it. You actually could have just fared his, his up B, and that would have been it. All right, but let's see how game two go right here. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay. Ooh, I thought you were going to grab him. It's not. Okay, see how you're fishing him out, taking your time. Mm. Okay, I feel like in that situation right there where you got hit with the force smash, upon landing, you should side B. Try to punish landings with side B instead of going for stuff like that. So you're like, it is good you trade it, but I feel like the, the side B is a bit safer, and you're not burning the fair, because the fair you want to keep fresh, because that move hurts if you get it, you know what I mean? The, the, the move, it hurts. So, if you're going to punish landings, don't punish it with a fair, unless they're at kill percent. Switch it with a side B. Side B is a lot better. And I like how in this match, you're actually moving around a bit more, and then when you move a few times, you just, you know, you wait. If you sense that the roller is coming, and you've been blocking a lot of rolls, like you haven't been getting hit that much. And here it was just, I think he basically, he might have had a feeling that you were gonna attack, so he just waited and then force smashed you, or you just misplaced your attack. So again, you gotta be careful when landing. Yeah, see, I, I'm liking it now. Now these rollers, they're not really getting to you. I mean, like you're you're picking your spots to block. So the the random the random rollers they they're not you you're not getting hit you doing all right kid mm, bring this back though okay so okay good movement take your time trying to see what he does oh Mr Grab it's all right just dash tag that ain't nothing oh no grab I thought you were gonna grab him there but well, it still worked out for you nice good bear covering landings need to do that a bit more. Oh, we get hit with an ad. We got hit with an ad. Is that what happened? Wow. Okay, so we got hit with an ad. Um, well, while this is happening, I guess we'll talk a bit because I, I am watching this on Twitch. That's the thing about you know, analyzing matches on Twitch. Stuff like this happened. But um, yeah, man, you're you're doing a lot better this this game. So uh, oh, we back to the match. Yeah, so you're doing a lot better in this game. You're not getting hit with rolls. Uh, being a bit more patient. Uh, good, good, good option. I like what you're doing there, tossing the turnip in the air. So if he jumps, you know, turnip hits him. If he doesn't jump, you, you cover on the ground. Two options. 
Okay, damn, you've been watching my videos, huh? Okay, I see you, I see you, okay. Oh, oh, get him out of here, all right then. Okay, I like what I'm seeing right here. Let's go, man. Send him back to, Spl to Splatoon 2. He don't belong in here. Actually, no, nah, I'm playing. I love Inkling. I can't get used to them in this game, but I definitely love Splatoon. But anyway. Nice! Look, I, I, I'm definitely in love with how you're using your Z-drops. And again, I think that was bad spacing right there, so you're just getting hit. Like, you're, you're doing good. Like, you're actually doing good, man. Like, you get hit with a few things, and then you switch it up. All right, so uh, you're definitely doing good. It's just your spacing. The first game, you you lost because you were getting hit with, like, a lot of rollers. This game, this guy is rarely landing them. He's not getting he's not getting these things off as much. So, uh... Oh, well, I, I think that's his first roller. He got this whole match out of, like, a thousand tries. Yeah, see, don't don't land on top, people. There you go. There you go. There you go. Oh. Ah. I don't know if he just threw that out there hoping that it would work or whatever, but, uh... You definitely, um, definitely, um, could, could, could have brought that back. But I like before that us match hit you, like, you being patient, you just went for the ledge. After the first attempt, the first attempt, you try to land onto the stage, you saw you got hit with an us match, you're like, nope, nope, I'm not doing this shit no more. Nah, F that, I'm going for the ledge. Exactly what you did. You went for the ledge. That was good stuff. Just that us match, random us match off the ledge, and you just got caught. But, um, let's see. I do like... That you adapted, you stop approaching in the air with, you know, the typical floating dares and stuff. You stop doing that after you were getting snuffed a few times with the inkling fares. And you started using grounded fares to punish him uh, on his landings and the grounded bears off the ledge and landings as well. So I did like that. I really do love the freaking use of your, um, what you call it, the Z drop and turn. A lot of freaking peace players, even these known peace players. That people drop their underwears for and shit at tournaments. I don't even see him freaking Z dropping a lot. But you, you, you put some creativity up in there. So, now yeah, I feel like you one step ahead of the game when it comes to that against these guys. Man, good stuff. Okay, I see you. I definitely see you out here. <laughs> yeah, boy. But, um, <clears throat> but, yeah. So, I, I definitely like that. So, the adaptation was good. Um, with the rollers, the first game after you, you lost, you would get hit. Game two. You actually looking out for for it more, and I think you go you only got hit one time with the roller out of all the time that this guy he was throwing him out. So the adaptation is good, definitely up there, right? I just feel like you need to um, what was it? There was just something else. Just like step up your pressure game a bit more. Um, don't try to force a kill, cause it looked like at times like when you were tossing out the fair, you were like trying to force a hit or force a kill, and it kind of left you open. Right, like you tossed out one fair, and then you went and you tried to toss out another one as soon after, and then you just got hit with the inkling fair, or he did something, whatever, and you left yourself open. So don't try to force a hit. If you're gonna toss out a fair, toss out at least one fair, and if you don't hit, um, just like either try to keep moving or just go in with like a ground float there to close the gap since you're a bit closer, and you know anything that the inkling does, you could just snuff it out with a quick ground float there or even a bear. Depending on the situation, the positioning. So yeah, don't don't try to force a hit as much. Um, you were taking a lot of baby damage, but kind of added it up later in the end, which caught you some else because your percent just accumulated too high to a point where um you know a finishing blow was just gonna take you out sooner than it should have. You know what I'm saying? So um yeah, there, there's that. Like overall, this match, I, I feel like you played good. Now I was definitely um I was definitely impressed with some of the stuff, your thought process, how you switched up. After you were getting hit with certain things over and over. Like you stopped being in the air. After you were getting hit with the Inklings Fair. Because you were doing the typical floating there. You're like, you know what? I'm not going to do this no more. I keep getting hit. So I'm getting tired of this shit. And then you immediately switched up. And then after you lost to like the rollers. A game two. You were just avoiding them. He only hit you with one roller, I believe. So yeah. The overall, it was good. Your edge guarding. It, it was decent. There was that one edge guard on his last stock. That you could have finished it off. But overall, you were keeping the pressure, you were covering landings. I just feel like you just lost this game due to, um, you know, misspacing. Misspacing the positioning and then just the random rollers where you took care of game two. Game two, you really weren't getting hit roll. Like, you, you, like, uh-uh, I'm not having this no more. F that, man. So, um, yeah, overall, you, you did good. 
You did good. You should be proud of yourself even though you lost. You you basically lost because I, I just feel like you got random out. That's basically it. It wasn't... I, I really don't feel like in this match from what I've seen, like you really got outplayed or you didn't know what the heck you was doing because I saw you was thinking out there. All right? You was thinking out there. You just basically got random out. That's basically it. So just, just be a bit more aware. Um... Step up your, your spacing slash pressure a bit more so you don't leave yourself open and get hit with, like, you know, force smash because, like, most of your kills were just due to, like, miss spacing, especially, like, the, the second game. The first game was just basically, you know, getting hit with rollers, but you took care of that game, too, so you weren't getting hit with that move no more. So good stuff on that. And, um, yeah, basically it, man. The pre um, step up your spacing. Um, what was it? Spacing. Damn, I, f I forgot what, what else was that, man. Sometimes I be talking. I have a lot of stuff on my mind. But I don't want to sound like a broken record because I really said what I had to say. So, yeah, good stuff, man. Um, Just keep it up. And you, 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 you'll be all right. All right? Yeah, just, just spacing. Don't force a hit. And I, I think that's it, man. I guess you could tweak up your edge guard a bit more. But look like you did all right. Creative use of turn-ups. Uh, be more creative, man. Don't stop there with the Z drop. Be more creative with the turn-up. You know, hit with a turn up and then, you know, re-grab it, all that stuff. Just keep it up. Wasn't that good stuff, man? I definitely like the play, man. When uh, it's a female playing Smash, doing her thing out there, that's what I like to see, man. Freaking girl power taking over. People out here thinking girls can't play you. You better watch out, man. She comes to the States. They're all going to get fucked up. Yay. But anyway, um, yeah, good stuff. I hope this was uh, insightful. I don't think I missed anything. I probably... Maybe I missed a few things, but I, I I think I got the basics down. But yeah, hope hope this helped y'all, Linda. Good job, man. It was definitely entertaining watching, you know, how you play, man. You you did good. You did good. So hopefully this helped you out. Um, If anybody else got a video request that they want me to look at, uh, just send me the link on my Discord. There's a video submission. You can post it there, and I can look over it. And if you don't want to do that, I do have a Twitter. So you can message me on Twitter and um, just send it to me there. And I'll look over the video and I'll help you out. All right, so thanks for watching. Got enjoyed it. Hope this was insightful for everybody. And um, thanks for all the subscribers, the new subscribers, the veteran subscribers. All you guys together, Freaking Savages, liking the video, sharing the video, all that good stuff. And I'll see y'all next time, all right? Okay, bye-bye now. <laughs> yeah, bye.